Hey guys, welcome to fall or whatever season you're in. Today I'm going to be installing the leaf bagger on my uh, Greenworks 60 volt crossover T. This also applies to the uh, crossover Z, which is the zero turn version. First thing you're going to need is this uh, push up pull up bar looking thing. And where this goes is there's two little brackets here on the end and it just slides right in there on both sides really easily and then we need to um, break it. Alright, well the first problem is that I'm missing the bolt here. So you can see clearly here the bar is supposed to have bolts in it, which I don't have. So, Well I found the bolts here in the... Um, in the... Alright, so I've got the bolts secured in there. Uh, I guess it still has a little wiggle room because of the bracket, but whatever. So this back piece just fits right onto these bars right here. Now the part that connects to the uh, outlet has two little clampy things attached to rubber. So this part goes into the blower like I said and there's kind of a clip area on the top of it and that goes on this little lip and it actually does a pretty good job of locking the whole thing in. And then there's these rubber um, secure pins which they're pretty hard to stretch. Um, I think I think one goes in here. Maybe it actually goes in that notch. I'm not sure. Um, and then the other one, uh, I got to stretch back here, and that's that's pretty secure. So I'm not too worried about anything. There's a little bit of airspace there, so I don't know. It seems like the force needs to come downward to uh, to hold this down. So I think that's where these pins should be. It's difficult to tell in the manual. These pictures in the manual are really hard to figure out. The right retention pen, which, yeah, it's just hard to tell where they are. This thing is right by the rear wheel, so it should be right there. But I don't know what, I don't know, I don't have a hole here. So, uh, yeah, there it is. And then here's, okay, so my back one is correct. That's the, uh, that's the little slot there. So I think we're good on this thing. And the last part is the clear tube. The uh, clear part actually goes down here for easy vis uh, visibility and also for this uh, latch strap here. And then this part just, I think, shoves in there. Okay, and, uh, and you've got these form fit areas like this. And then this goes, Ugh. Hey, come on. There we go, stretchy, stretchy. Dumped in, hopefully that's high grade rubber. All right, so the last thing we gotta do is put the bags on. So these have grooves under here and they just plop in, okay. like that. Uh. All right, we're good to go. Let's see how it works. So far working pretty good. Pull down the latch. Oh, okay. We exceeded our capacity. Um, I'm gonna need uh, two hands for this, but uh, there we go. I'm just gonna dump that there and keep going. I guess this is important. There's a uh, grab handle on the bottom so it's, you can easily shake every Telltale sign that uh, you need to empty, I guess, is when they start filling up in there. I guess it's a good idea to stop on top of it because once it gets clogged it can't really overcome the it, it doesn't have enough pressure to unclog it so you have to unclog it yourself.